Hello and welcome to this um, short video. I get many emails each week asking how much RF power are in these basic transmitters I build. Well, this was my last video. Single transistor. This one's a 2N3904. It's, um, it's a TO92 package. Just a standard bipolar NPN transistor. It's not, um, you know, it's just a normal common transistor, it's not an RF transistor of any sort. Uh, and I get a lot of people asking how much RF power can you get out of one of these, but normally I operate these from um, 3 volt or 9 volts. So, let's see what sort of power we can get out of them if we put more voltage in. So I'm just going to plug this into my um, variable power supply. There we go, let's plug the RF. Plug the antenna into my watt meter. Now this watt meter you might have seen on previous videos. Great meter. Designed for these low power transmitters. It goes up to about a quarter of a watt, is it? Yeah, 250 milliwatt. So that's plugged in there. There we go. Right then we'll see what power this single transistor gives. It's not going to be much, but I'm going to test um, a free transistor in a minute. Alright, here we go. As you can see there, we're on, what's it, 9.3 volts. The RF meter is showing about, about, about 4 milliwatt of power. Don't say much, but I'll still go a few hundred meters using the car stereo. Should crank it up. I'll just switch over my meter to. Now we're at about 11 milliwatt now, it's 17. 17.8 volt. Let's go up more. Now at 26 volt, we're knocking out 50 milliwatt. Not bad. Oh, that's the transistor burn now. Whoa. Killed it. Look at the transistor it went. As you can see with the cap. That's what happens if you put too much voltage into one of these. I think the transistor's rated at about 60 60 volts I think. Oh it went up to about 55 milliwatt, which went bad. I'd do a mile or so in the car. Right, next we'll try our free stage. That one's got. Sorry, about this. Uh, audio amplifier. See us later. And that's just a basic amplifier. Right, let's get that set up. Well, last video was half successful, weren't it? It got to about just over 50 milliwatt, which is quite enough power really for a single transistor. As you can see, the cap went. Now, normally I fit these with 50, 50 volt parts, but these are only ones I'd left, so I was using 16 volt caps. I only plug a 9 volt battery in them anyway, so that would give way before the transistor blew. Alright. Now you've seen me build these on YouTube. I also sell the kit online. Now this is a free transistor transmitter. Now the first transistor is the amplifier for the microphone. That's a 2N3904. Um, second transistor is the oscillator. And the third one I've replaced that. That was um, a 3904. I've replaced it with um, a PN. 3563, which is an RF transistor, which is ideal for the amplifier stage. A lot more efficient and a lot more power output than the um, 3904. So what we'll do, plug that in. I'll just plug the antenna into my um, watt meter. And we'll crank up the voltage. We'll see what type of power we get out of an, um, a simple three-stage transmitter using 
you know, low power transistors. Don't forget these are only 92 packages. There we go, the antenna's plugged in there, look. All the way into my RF meter. There's our variable supply. Oh, I need to get this at the right angle so you can actually see the RF power and the voltage. Now, oh, here we go. We'll turn it up until we blow, blow it up. Alright, 4 volts. Oh, that's not bad RF power that ain't. Let's go to 9 volt, that I normally use. Why? Wow, you see the RF power is a bit more than I thought. I must have a loose connection now. Yeah. Alright, so I'm to crank it up. Wow, it's a lot more power than I thought. 100 milliwatts. That's 16 volts. Wow, 18 volts, 150 milliwatts. That's amazing. This shows you how good these are. Oh, it's died. Yeah, that's definitely the transistor. I'm amazed it went to 150 milliwatt, to be honest. Let's try it again. Yep. I think the output cap's gone. Let's crank it up until something goes. Actually, I think there might have been too much current going through the um, R5, the 100 um, resistor. I couldn't cope. Just basically showing you that these transmitters are built can take a lot more voltage than what they're right from, the normal 9 volts. That went right up, didn't it? Believe me, it doesn't sound a lot of power, but that would go a couple of miles in my um, car with using my um, standard four stereo. Oh, just a quick video, because I get tons of emails saying, you know, what's the max power you can get out of these simple transmitters? Oh, you just silly. Oh, see you all soon.